right. Funky. Funky as. Hi guys, welcome to the Storm Reviews. I'm here with Lee. And I'm here with Joe. And today we're taking a look at the Exotic Wah. Yeah. Sweet. So, what do we know about the Exotic Wah? Well, uh, first of all, it's noticeably smaller than your average wah. I think Exotic claim it's 20% smaller than your average wah, so pretty friendly on the old pedal board. Not as small as the Dunlop Minis. No. But somewhere between Somewhere that. in between. So you can still comfortably get your whole foot on it. Uh, it's got all the good stuff, true bypass switching, it's made with all the finest quality components known to man. On that point about true bypass, hasn't it got a, a fuzzy buffer fuzz, in it though? Fuzz friendly buffer, so uh, your eagle eyed amongst you might notice we've got the SM fuzz here, which is an old vintage style germanium fuzz, check out our previous video on the SM fuzz, uh, which vintage fuzz pedals like that don't like to be behind a buffer. They right. tend to, they don't sound great. They like and to be you, first in the chain, don't if they? If you've ever tried to use a wire with a vintage fuzz, it's... It's, it's not mm, good. It's not mm. good. So the good people at Exotic have been very clever with this and uh, designed a buffer that does work well with germanium fuzzes. So we've deliberately put the fuzz after the wire today so you can hear that it is possible because a lot of you guys are going to like to have the wire first in the chain. I know I do. Which way is it? The wah goes on when you, yeah. Um, other things, other magic that's occurring on this pedal. If we give you a little shot of the side, you'll see we've got a selection of little trim pots on there. I just pop everything back in the middle. My glamorous assistant will just adjust. Um, so what is it? Treble, bass. Oh, I can't see. Wah cue, then bias. So essentially, although the voice of this wah is uh, is taking its influence from the um, sort of mid '60s Clyde McCoy the Italian, Italian wahs, yeah. yeah. With these parts, you can shape it to be just about anything, and we've 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 tested it, and it does work. You can make it sound modern. You can make it sound old. The particularly the is it the bias. Bias makes it sound more aggressive. The more you roll in the bias, the more aggressive the wah sounds. Yeah. And the more you roll it out, the mellow it sounds. Uh, I find the bass let's give gets... It a quick, give it a quick demo now. If I, so... Let's I'll funk it up. In, leave it in the middle for now. What should we do, shaft? Play what you want. If I roll that up. So where are we now? Now I've rolled it right back to the right. So yeah, when the bias is up, it seems to sort of tighten up the bass a little bit. Yeah. And it sounds a bit more modern. It just sounds a little bit more crisp. Prominent and... sound. It's definitely more pronounced, more more aggressive. I yeah. Would say. Yeah. And then as you as you roll it down, it's a little bit more vintage yeah. sounding. A little bit softer. Um, and then obviously the treble and bass speak for themselves, which are really handy, especially for that top end thing. With a strat, you kick on a wah and you get that that shrill Nasal, shrill bite. With yeah. the treble, you can just uh, knock it back and warm things up a little bit. And the uh, is it the Q wah Q? Yeah. That's basically the width of the filter which again is super cool because you can make it sound really big and throaty or you can really focus in on like a, a thin cue which makes it sound really vocal. Should we, have, you, have you played with that? Yeah, let's give it a... Turn I'll it right just, up. I'll turn it right up. Turn it right up, we'll do the same. Just do some like, I'll get me gammy foot in. So you can hear those vowel sounds. Yeah. Now knock it right back. Yeah. 
It's much more much mellow. More subdued, isn't it's it? more of a, I don't know. Warmer, yeah. but not as pronounced. It's not got so much of a wah, wah, yeah. if you know what I mean. And the switch on this, we should mention that, uh, it hasn't got the nasty click, the good yeah. old uh, classic so you, click. You'll not hear it. Silent. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Keep... <laughs> <laughs> I want to go. I wanna go. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's yeah, a nice switch. That's good, that's good, that's good. And an LED light. I don't know if you can see that on B cam down here. Oh, I can't do it. There's a light there, I promise. There you go. Which is always handy. Conveniently placed so you can see when it's on and off because I don't know about you, but- Lacking in a the, lot of The amount lacking, of times- Surely lacking. The amount of times I've plugged in at a gig into an unnamed wire pedal and uh, things have been sounding rather odd and then it's always the last thing you check isn't it you go to your wire just because there's no led on it yep Anyway, so there you go. Boutique, American-made action, wire action for your board. Fraction of the size. Uh, costs a pretty penny, but in my opinion, it is worth it. Yeah, because if definitely. you're gonna buy one wire that's gonna last you and you're gonna be able to do any gig with. And, uh, you can tune it to work with any guitar, yeah. any amp. Get, yeah, it's, uh, it's also, we, did, we forgot to mention, it's also got some dip switches inside. So you can go even further if you want yeah. to. You can, uh, um, you've got a, you've got an input gain trimmer so if you've got active pickups it, uh, it tames the wire so it doesn't sound doesn't really take your head off when you've got your toe down right, setting right i think you can actually adjust the like the top end peak as well can't yep, you so you yep. can say how harsh it's going to go when your toes down and toes up yep. so many things it's even got an adjustable um pedal rocker so you can actually sort of adjust it to the tension that you like which is yeah. another big thing because some wires so if you want to go really, really fast you can make it really loosey-goosey and really yep. get the speed up Whereas if you want to do, you do the slower sweeps, you can really put the tension in, so you've really got to lean into it. They've literally thought of everything. And a little rubber, the rubber stopper comes up. Even the, the rubber so you can, stopper. You can maximise how far back it comes, and it will hit a stopper. Instead so of having to put into, picks under the back, I yeah, used to do that as well. You get a swampy base. They've thought of everything. One wire to rule all. Yeah. This is it. XW1 from Exotic Effects. Oh. You can't, you can't turn it on sitting can't down, really do, it. Sit. do you mind? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stand up. Is that on? I will, I've turned it on. <laughs> Double team action, we probably don't recommend that. It's best to use it by yourself. <laughs> There you are, folks. There was a look at the exotic one. Exotic! Wire. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. If you want to see it in the hands of a true pro, uh, check out our link, which should be either above my head or somewhere down below. Depends where Dan puts it. 
Uh, it's on the board of Andy oh. Timmons. He was here the other week, did a night out. Sounds awesome, sounds awesome. It's great wire, great player. So take a look at that. And we'll see you next time. Hang on. I've got a proper wedgie. <laughs> Are you getting this, Dad?